How many times do you drag an edit point out only to realize it's not ending exactly where you want it to be? Today I want to show you three creative ways in Final Cut Pro 10 to use Extend Edit to make your life easier. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Chadwick and this is Creative Video Tips where I help you create videos that make a difference and stand out. And if that's the kind of thing you're into, click subscribe right now so you don't miss my next tip. Now let's jump into the computer real quick and I'm going to show you all about Extend Edit. The first really cool way I want to show you how to use Extend Edit is to do a dynamic trim. Now it's a little bit different than doing it in Avid. You can't see both sides at the same time while you're doing it, but you can play back in real time. And here's how we set that up. You're going to go up to your Final Cut Pro menu, Preferences, and then under Playback, you want to choose your pre and post roll duration to probably be less than what they are by default. I like mine with two seconds of pre roll, one second of post roll. So that's the play around time of where your cut's at. The other thing you're going to want to do is go check out two other commands, which are going to be under your view playback. And then you're going to choose, there's a loop playback, which is going to keep going over and over again, right? So that's going to be really useful so that you can keep making tweaks. Um, and then the other one is the play around command, which is shift question mark. Okay. So now that we know shift question mark, we can go to an edit point, hit shift question mark, and it's gonna do our pre-roll or post-roll, and it's just gonna keep going, I'm not pushing anything. So it's all set up for us to do this. So the way we do extend edits is we, this right now I've got the select tool chosen. So we've got this edge, right, on this clip. So we know we're gonna be able to do a trim because we have a selection on that. So let's just see how to do this. I'm gonna push uh, shift question mark. And then if you push shift X, it's gonna do a trim based off of that, that edit point, you know, that ripple select that I had done. So let's do one, two, and on the next playback. Okay, here we go. One, two, boom. See how I pushed that out because the playhead was passed in in time. So you could just keep doing that. And it's uh, one, two, three, boom. So I've extended it in real time. You can also shorten it, so I could do it before that at a point, so right there. Do you see what I did? <laughs> did you catch that? That was quick, right? Um, and you can do this with all type, different types of trims. It doesn't have to be, I mean, we could go over here and by pushing the, the what is it, the forward slash key, the one that's right above return, I just get backslash and forward slash confused. So this is basically a roll edit now. So I do the same thing to, to move this around. So rather than changing the overall length of the project, uh, I'm just gonna take away from one side and add it to the other. So shift question mark does a play around and shift X did a roll further on down the timeline. So it kept the whole length of this timeline was the same. If you're wondering about the different types of trim modes and what a ripple is or what a slip edit is, I've got another video I'm gonna link right up here and I would love for you to check that out. It's a little bit more of a crash guide to all trim modes explained. This one's specifically just on extend edit. Um, so that's dynamic trimming in Final Cut Pro 10. Another really creative use of the extend edit command again, which is shift X, um, is to extend something like a title or some sort of graphic element that's on another layer. A lot of times you want that to last the exact duration of a clip that's underneath. And you know, you can go down there and, and just click and drag and like, you know, hope that you have snapping on and that it, it clicks to, you know, you can see right here, I'm trying to make this Las Vegas title go to the end. But a quicker, easier way is to just to make sure you have that selected there on the end. And then if you hit your down arrow key, or you could use your previous or next edit buttons. And once that's done and you have your skimmer off, that's one of the tricks to this is, so skimmer is S. So if you turn hit S again, you just get a playhead. So you don't accidentally have two things on there. You can be a lot more precise. I've got my title selected and I'm just gonna hit shift X, okay, and boom. What that's done is it's pulled it exactly to the length of the clip. So titles is a, is a great use of extend edit. 
One thing you might not realize is extend edit is not just about extending a clip, it's also about shortening a clip. So you can think of it as extending longer or extending shorter, if that makes any sense. So for instance, let's take this Las Vegas title that's right here and duplicate it. So a quick way to duplicate it is just to hold the option key and drag it to where you want it. I've got snapping turned on, which is the shortcut for that is N. So that snapped right there to the beginning of this clip right here that was at the Avid booth. And let's say I want to make this clip say, instead of Vegas, let's call this, uh, you know, Avid Demo, right? And if I want this to end exactly at the end of that clip, I can go push my down arrow, which is next edit. And then I can go over here, select the edge of it. And rather than dragging, we're going to use the shift X command, which is extend edit to shorten it exactly there you go to that clip. So as soon as that plays out, we are off of that title. Make sense? So you can go back frame by frame and it is frame accurate. It's a really helpful tool. Um, so that's titles with extend edit. My third tip for extend edit is actually to do the similar sort of thing that we did with titles, but with music. So this is, comes in real handy with anything where you just want to cut stuff off exactly on a specific spot. You could select the tail end of a piece of music or the beginning, either one, and then take your playhead to where you want it to stop and then hit shift X and you have trimmed it up. You can see exactly to the very end of your timeline, or this could be like a sequence within a much larger project. You get the idea. Or maybe let's say, you know, we could, we could make it shorter right here. Maybe we want this, the no music to come in until we hit this, you know, this Avid demo. So I've got my playhead parked there precisely without the skimmer on using the next and previous edits. I'm right there. I'm selecting the edge of that. And then I'm going to say shift X and it basically takes that front, front section and does a, uh, it just chops that off and it, it ripple deletes to that point. So really handy use of extend edit with music. Don't forget, you can extend it longer too. So this li one little last bit there, let's say, oh, maybe we want to see this amazing Blackmagic Cinema Camera 4K with music. I park my playhead there and I hit Shift X and it pulls it out. So don't forget it, Shift X. That's the point of this whole video. So you can see with Extend Edit, you can do dynamic trims where you're playing back in real time and make the change on some footage and maybe your primary storyline. You can use Extend Edit to easily uh, drag out a title or some sort of graphic. And then you can also do this with music clips really easily. So it's a really quick way to get really good precision by using the playhead um, to park it exactly where you want it to. Or play it back with play around and, and loop. Now you know more about Extend Edit than you ever thought you need to. If you found this video useful, click subscribe. That way you don't miss the next tip. Ask any questions you have in the comments, I'll try to get to every single one of those, and I'll see you in the next video.